Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Twisted Paper Studio. How are you? I hope that you are well. If you're new here, welcome. We're doing the 100 Day Craft Project and today is day 43. For me, um, it is Easter Sunday and it is rather late. Um, but I'm fulfilling my promise and my objective goal of the 100 days in consecutive order. So I'm at day 43, which is Easter Sunday. Okay, I had a wonderful Easter Sunday with my family. Sorry for the late video, but I know that you will all forgive me because you always say that you do. So <clears throat> let's just get started. We were working in this journal the night before, and I do apologize about the video being um, too up close. I forgot to uh, set the zone when I was hurried in a rush to record it uh, the other day. So my, my apologies. Um, we were working in this book, and we have done some ephemera in it some pockets with a little booklet a pockets with a tag i left some journaling space here for the new owner um we decorated this page and this page here and we were leaving those we decorated here maybe we might need a little paper clip on there i'll put one for now um I'm not sure if I have my little things over here anywhere. I don't. I don't see them. Well, maybe we could put a little ribbon there. So how are all of you? I hope you're all well. I'm just going to give out um, beautiful blessings to everyone uh, in lieu of the uh, blessed day that I just had. So beautiful blessings to all of you, all of my followers, new New and the ones from the beginning that have been here with me from the start. Thank you so much for, you know, just being here with me, you guys. Okay. So I just took a piece of ribbon and tied it on to the end of the paper clip. And I'm just going to leave it like that. So you guys can do that if you want to. You could staple it or just tie it. That's a cute way to put things into the side of the book like that. Cute. And we did this page here. We were leaving some things for journaling. We do need to put something in there. Um, maybe we'll come back to that. And here we go. We're still working in this book. <laughs> okay. I hope everyone had a blessed day today. Um, it is Sunday also. Uh, I had the best time. I really did. I had a wonderful time. Um, Ciro, we found out that Ciro loves, loves, loves to open, um, like presents, like gifts. He loved opening up his Easter basket. He loved it. Okay. I think I did something like that already. So let me just go back here and check. I want to, I can't remember if I did it in this book or the last book. Well, I didn't do it in this book. I must have done it in the last book. Oh, no, I did. See that? I just did that. So we'll wait a bit. I'll put that on the side for right now. We'll but I have doubles of things over here, so I don't want to put um, doubles in the book. I got to make sure. Oh, he's so cute. Isn't he so cute? Oh, he would look cute there, too. He kind of gets washed out with the blue egg, though. Oh, my gosh. How darling. Anywhere you put the Easter things, it looks cute. Anywhere. Anywhere. Maybe we'll just put him right in the middle. <laughs> I like him there. Let me see how many pages before that I did that in the middle. It was quite a bit, I think. Or was it in this one? Oh my gosh, my confusion. Okay, we can do him in the middle. It's been, it's over. I don't see an, another one in the middle. Try to separate, um, 
separate the what I do um, from page to page. Can't I can't do it all the time. Sometimes work is repetitive, so just you just have to figure it out when you get there. And you can repeat your work. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I just personally, I don't want to cut off the flower. I'll have to put that on after. I just personally don't want to repeat the work. But sometimes you can. It's okay. Okay. We'll put him right in the middle, like I said. And we got to put his flower back on. And it's okay because you glue things. So <clears throat> you're not going to really be able to tell that that's pieced together. How darling is that right there? I just love it. I love everything so cute. <clears throat> I do. I can't help myself. I just do. I like cute things. But I also like... Um, renaissance things <laughs> and that renaissance is not well french renaissance and french are not always cute but then of course i mix i mix stuff sometimes oh see i don't remember okay i did not i did not put it in there Yay. I like it. I even just like her right there. Maybe we'll just put her right there without being on a pocket. We don't we already do have quite a bit of pockets in this in this signature. So there's another pocket there. And then a pocket there. Yeah, so maybe I'll leave these two pockets and I'll just put her in the center. Or down here. So we can you can we can even write over her. Although who would want to do that? This is just to give you some ideas on decorating your books. The fussy cutting. I like doing that. I also like to stamp inside the book, um, stamp on sheets of paper to put it in my book as well. So if you stamp on paper, like packing paper or, or paper bags, you can glue those in your book as well. Maybe we might do that this week. I'm wondering. I'll come back to that to put put things on these flips because we can put things on them too. To open them up or to put them underneath. So you could see them. But I wouldn't want to cover anything up for Richard Scary. Hmm. <laughs> we all know that. Okay, now let me take a look at this one. What do we got here? Mm. Cute. I think I might take a little bit of this white off down here. Not much, just a little. So because this video is going up late, um, tomorrow's going to be Merry Monday. And, oops, and uh, I, I wanted to work with um, the pictures for C 
zero. <laughs> I, I think some of you saw the picture. I have it in the community um, section on my uh, YouTube. And I just absolutely adore this picture of the zero so much. Well, there's a few of them. I have a few different ones. And then I also got one with me in, in his bunny suit today. <laughs> of course, I have to get one of me. I wanted one for myself. Okay. I'm liking that there, but I think it needs just a little... I don't know. It might need something else, like a label. Um, so his picture in the bunny suit. I wanted to work with that. And we may work with that this week um, in their journals. So I have some of, of Lucas too. I just have to ask his mom if it's okay. Um, you know, some of the pictures she says yes, some of the pictures she says no. So I have to ask that. But but Ciro, I always have permission for Ciro's pictures. Oh, I think somebody asked me too, um how I how I was um, you know, working on their, working on the book that I have for my family. I'm just looking for label. Hold on. I'm um, working on the book that I have for my family. And if they see it, if I was worried about them seeing it or not, they know I'm working on their book. They know that they're not getting it from me and they're not interested in seeing it. <laughs> they're just not. They, if you've watched my older videos, of my craft and the things I've done in the past. Um, my kids think that this stuff is junk. <laughs> they, they're not interested in that at all. I told them that uh, your mother your mother has a lots of things <laughs> that is not junk. So they better know that if something ever happens to me. <laughs> it's not all junk. Oops. No, it's too, it washes it out too much, that fabric. <clears throat> so, yeah, they're, they know that I'm making a <clears throat> journal for them. But they're not solely interested in me making it as much as getting it. They know they're getting it. They're, they're excited about that part. But... They don't go snooping, believe me. I like the pink better. The pink doesn't uh, wash it out so much. Okay, so I'm just going to glue on the pink. That's just a snip of scrap fabric. That's all. I'm going to glue it down on here. And I'm not even gluing it all around. Just... In the center, I like the raveled part of it peeking up a little bit. I'm not sewing around it, so I'm just going to stick it in there like that. I like that. It, it pops it out. And I'm going to cut that over there and put this on here. Like that. I didn't back this. I realize that now. I backed the other ones. And I also didn't have to do so much on this side here. Whoops. Um, because there's only just a tiny little line there. So the book page. Um, I don't know if you could see. Let me. Let me get something else so you can see what I mean. <clears throat> the book page line around here is making this line on this side kind of even. So it really doesn't look out of, out of character. That I would have had to put something down on this side to match this side. Because the book page is helping not do that. If you could understand what I mean. <laughs> okay, that's staying. 
And we only need to fill that with something, but I don't know that I'm gonna fill these pockets just yet. I have more stuff in the bin over there, so. And then these pages here, I may come back to them. Um, I might not work on everything all at once. I may come back to them and collage over them so that it can give somebody writing space. I don't know that I want that there, so I'm not just going to stick it there. I won't just stick anything there. I may just come back to that. I'm not feeling to cover it up right this moment. Okay, now we had this one. Was this, yeah, this is the last. This is before we go into the next um, signature. And do I want to put this pocket this way? Let me see. Maybe I'm feeling this one, rather. I think so. Let's do that. This is strong at the top, but not on the sides. But if I glue it down this way as a pocket, it'll be strong. Because this is collaged on. I'm just looking for a circle punch. So I could take a notch out of the pocket. Like that. And we could save that for somewhere else. And then I do want to decorate it first before I put it on. Let me see what I have over here. Because I don't really know. Well, I kind of like that. The red. I think everything else I have is tall. Too tall. I'm looking. <clears throat> I do like the red. I think we'll go with that. I'm a little gluey already. Let's see what I have in here. I'm liking the red. I think, I think they're too big. Yeah, too big. I think, well, I think I like the red. And then I like these two maybe to go in the pocket. Mm -hmm. Or maybe them. I like all this stuff. <clears throat> I like all of it. <laughs> it's hard to choose. Well, maybe that. Let me, let me take a look. No, I like the red. Okay. So I'm just going to cut this up. Just going to take a piece of it. Not the whole thing. Oops. Yeah. I like that. So don't be afraid to cut up your ephemera to just take a piece of something either. You don't have to use the whole thing. <clears throat> nope, you don't. I wonder if I have any more of that red ticking. Oh, I do. I don't know. Let's take a look to see what I have here. Maybe just a piece. 
I'm just making things pretty. <laughs> I like that. What about a little piece of this on top? This has been this has been roaming around in my stash for quite some time. That's cute. We can do that. <clears throat> there we go. Now we have a pocket. <laughs> okay, let me glue this on. And the glue was laying on its side, so it it went all over my stuff. Yeah, so the so Ciro's pictures we're gonna do uh, this week. I'll work on the boys' books. Ciro, of course, was too young to do the Easter egg hunt, and then. The other night, oh, I forgot to put the picture in. So I'll probably put that in at the end of today. I did forget to put the picture in. My apologies. I have um a picture of, well, the Easter eggs that we colored. But they weren't, um, you know, the regular Easter eggs, of course. Because Lucas... Um, <laughs> he doesn't like art. He just, isn't that funny. To get him to do art, he, he feels like he's getting dirty <laughs> with paint and all that stuff. So we did as much as he could tolerate. And I did wooden eggs with him. And I had to convince him to do them um, to make a, a football. So he did it in the Yank, in the, no, in the Mets colors. And then in a football color. That was how I convinced him to create art with me. <laughs> He's silly little boy. I think I'm just going to take a tiny little piece of this edge off here. Because it's just a, a, a tad bit too wide. That's better. And we'll just do it like a regular pocket. Three sides. I gotta make sure I get it down right. <clears throat> oh, I'm going to hold it there for a second. Okay. We'll leave it open. How cute is this? You know, you can take your little things and put it in the pocket, too, to make it stay down. I think I'm going to do that. So it looks like he's popping out of the pocket, but he's on the page. I think I'll do that with that bunny. <clears throat> That's a cute look in a book as well. So if you have, like, a pocket or something like a side tuck and you want it to peep out the side or peep up you could just glue it on the page so that you only see a portion of it I should have did it first but I thought of it after so we're just gonna do it like that But he's on the he's on the page. He's on there. He's good on there. <laughs> Cute. I like that. Okay. Now what did I see? I saw some things to go in the pocket. I 
And this is in a kit from last year. This is not from this year. So it is in my shop. I don't recall the kit. Um, it is from last year. If you ask me and you can't find it, I will look it up. I think I'm just going to glue them right on here. Yep, that works. All right, let's do it. Easy ephemera. Easy. You don't overthink it. If it comes on a digital, you back it with some heavy-duty paper, put on some pretty things, and you have easy ephemera. <laughs> well, with all the glue and everything, it's easy enough. Hmm. And I'll just do this one too so we can cut them out at the same time. And then, <clears throat> so that this video can upload, I'm just gonna, what I'll do is I'll just say goodbye to ya. We finished this, this, uh, after these ephemeras are done. We finished this signature. So we have two more signatures left to go. And we have to do some more things like, I definitely want to do those, um, those envelopes again with the window. Oh, I definitely want to do those again. And I don't remember if this one had a little baggie in it or not. So even if it doesn't, we'll put one in there. I have glue on my fingers. And now I know I, I noticed that this is crooked. It's crooked because the first cut was crooked. That's better. So now let's see that all of these are cut, not crooked. <laughs> it up. Better. Okay. I'll clip the corners on here. Now it's like a little journaling card. We might put something on there though. Let me just check this one first. And when this is all crooked, <clears throat> those of you that are new or, you know, just working with these tools for the first time, when this is all crooked like this on here, I just line it up with this plastic, you know, to get the first cut straight. I line up my image rather than worrying about the lines on here, if that helps anyone. And then I'll have a straight cut to make sure all my other cuts are straight. And then I'll come back to that if I have to. So that all these next cuts now are all straight. A little trick from my imitation days. Okay. And this had rounded corners on it, so I'll give it to it again. And I see there's just a tiny piece left on there. All right. Now, let's see. We had this really cute piece of fabric here. I'm going to do that on there like that. That's my favorite way to do things. And, oh, I put staples back in my stapler. So I have my 
stapler here. And then, let's see what other stuff I have laying around. I have this little piece of green fabric here, vintagey. Well, more like antique. I'm just going to staple it on there. Cute. It's covering its bill. We'll just put it back a little. There we go. Cute. And then what do I have here? I have some of that red ticking. Can use some more on there. That's darling. And then how about a little, another little piece of the laundry number? We can do that. Let me see. I may just, let me get rid of all this stuff here. I may just put this down here at the end because it's small enough to do that. And then to do something a little different on this one, I may take, um, hold, let me see where they are. I don't have any in there. Okay, so let me see what I have here. How about a little safety pin? We can do that. I have these tiny baby, little baby tiny safety pins. Let's see if it'll work. Um, will it go through? Let's see if it has the power. It does. So now I'm just going to clip it. There we go. So it has a little safety pin in the top. Cute. <clears throat> Gonna plug up this glue. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna bring this book back towards us now. And then we'll put these in here like that. And maybe I'll put one up here, like that, so that we could see the bunny over here. That's cute. I mean, we should probably do one more, huh? Make a tall one to make it like a waterfall effect of cards. Is that even gonna? We'll have to revisit that. It might work, but I'd, I'd want something taller. Okay, so that's it now. We're on to the next signature. We finished this one. Oh, my piece of my hair, sorry. Okay, so I like this page a lot. And now we need some tabs, of course, page tabs, so I could start to do that, but our first signature is done. And we do need some page tabs on there, so that's something else we could work on. And then, um, probably need a pocket or something in here and this book belongs to so we'll have to I don't know what I have here as far as labels sometimes I like to use um Rachel's labels and then I also have my own I love the renaissance mixed with the bunny stuff I don't know that I have any oh yes I do I do and my favorite one is available yay <laughs> I always have to find myself printing them out more and more. I think I like that one. Let's give it a try. I may not put it on tonight, but I'll just put it down. And that's Rachel from Roxy Creations. If you're new to my channel, uh, I'm very inspired by her work. Well, I haven't had many t much time to watch her. I love her. But um, she has these labels in her shop. I like this here a lot. So I think I'm going to put paper clip there and keep it. I'll do it over here. Okay. Well, thank you for joining me. And thank you for bearing with me as we um, went into 
day 43. Tomorrow will be April 1st, April Fool's Day, and we'll be going into day 44 tomorrow. And that's Merry Monday also. So come back and see me tomorrow for Merry Monday also. Well, although some of you will probably be watching uh, today's video and Merry Monday at the same time because it will be very late for those of you on the East Coast. But thanks for bearing with me and I will see you guys again tomorrow for day 44. And blessings to all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much for allowing me my late time um, because I did spend time with my family. And I'll put those uh, pictures in of Ciro in his little cute little Easter outfit at the end of this video. And also of them um, coloring their, their wooden eggs with me. Okay, bye for now my crafting buddies.